Oh, into the ring, and here we go, and attacking him before the bell even rings. The official needs to get in there and get some control. We know there's a lot of disdain between these two men, and we're seeing it right before our very eyes, before this match even starts. Now we're official. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Well, it's blatantly obvious there is a ton of animosity between these two superstars. And not wasting any time getting this fight started. Clearly a lot of hostile feelings between these superstars who couldn't even wait for the match to begin before getting their hands on each other. And you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. Oh! And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, oh man, leg drop arm breaker. Stop in the leg. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. And the dead man looks human at that moment. Yeah, as Hogan shows off his offense there, brother. Saw that one coming. The Undertaker finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. He gets back into the ring. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Being carried around with ease. Getting tossed. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Fending off a two count there. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Close line. Big boot. But Here he goes for the win. work. Here is your winner, Hollywood Hogan. Talk about a solid win. Everything went their way here. Only because the opposition got softened up by that attack earlier, but you're right. Victory is theirs. Let's not ruin this moment of celebration. They earned this. Earned it with sneaky tactics. Well, strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory, Saxton. The WWE Universe just exploded! The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Japan, weighing in at 206 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix World Heavyweight! Champion Kong A. Bush I. I don't always agree with it, but this superstar isn't afraid to come out here and take things by force. Oh, you hypocrite. I'll just wait until another superstar, one you don't like, Saxton, decides to come out and take what they want, and we'll see how you respond then. Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion.
Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else as glorious. And his partner from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. Well, according to Robert Roode, no one measures up in the ring or on the entrance ramp because nobody makes an instant impact quite like Robert Roode does. He's held the NXT title, Tag Team Championships, the United States title. Robert Roode is all business. Robert Roode has tasted success both as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. The Phenom is here, and scarier than ever. Undertaker, full of evil ambitions, wants to take control of WWE. Well, I got a question for you, Cole. Who's going to stop him? And from Death Valley, weighing in at 330 pounds, the The Lord of Darkness. We've seen him performing dark rituals, channeling the evil energy of other superstars. And I truly believe that he's been successful. No one is safe. Says he's ready to unleash a plague of evil. And unfortunately, Cole, I think he's here to make good on that threat. Says tonight might be his most sinister act ever. Oh, I shudder to think what that means for his opponent. Fortunately for us, we won't have to wait long to find out. Make way for a wrestling machine. Weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle. Unparalleled accolades in both the amateur and professional wrestling realm. The Angle has defeated the best of the best no matter how loud the WWE Universe performs that awful chant. Tag team action underway, truly one of the hallmarks of sports entertainment. That's right, Colin. As a former tag team champion myself, I have to say these matches hold a special place in my heart. Left by the turnbuckles. Undertaker gets reversed. Kick! Oh, well-placed kick. And the second row. And out of the corner. Look at this heel hook. 
This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Undertaker counters. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, what a DDT. Cover. Two. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Just barely, but it counts. The Undertaker rounding his opponent. Leg drop. Here's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. Boom, boot. Nice. A nice shot by the Undertaker. Now one of the best strikers in the business. Now look at his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. And Undertaker with momentum on his side. A series of disabling maneuvers from Undertaker. <laughs> oh, look at this. Arm wrench. Bang! So accurate. He got whipped into that corner. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. And there is no other term for that than just cheap. A cheap shot. Yes, tag. Had that one scouted. Ouch. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. The heel hit. Incredibly important moment right there, being able to get to the ropes. It can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. Makes it incredibly difficult to walk. Just never had a chance to block any of those. He's on his heels a bit now. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Oh, oh. elbow to the face. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Flat line, man, face first. Does it better? trouble generating any sort of defense. Oh, what a knee lift. 
tagged in. The Undertaker makes the tag. He was elusive there. Boom. He had it scouted. And he gets delivered back into the ring. That's what they call me, the hot shot. I think we know exactly where the dead man is headed. I bet he's going to the top rope, Byron. The old familiar sight. Oh. Boom! Will it be? I think so! He stopped the count for his partner. The dead man lining up his next victim moments away. With the reversal. Just a relentless series of strikes. From the ground up. Suplex. Oh, suplex. He can end it here. He's got him. And Undertaker barely escapes the pin. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. In the second row. Corner in Zaguri. He gets tagged in. Fireman's... Uh-oh. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Uh-oh. Somehow he saw Taker coming. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. He's looking a little weary now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Just pinning the arm down and then driving a knee into the arm. Critical time in this matchup. This is a... Uh, he could be looking for a submission here. Oh, the hill hooks it! They're fighting out of it. Successfully does a couple effective shots. With the Lariat. There's the tag. Launch out to the outside. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Situation. The Undertaker. There's a tombstone. Taker just turned his lights out. Delivering elbow after elbow. And they can't beat the count. Double count out.
And here comes one of my favorites. The following champion versus champion contests is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. One half of the International Wrestling Grand Prix Junior Heavyweights Tag Team Champions, Dan Mullins. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. Oh, oh, oh. Are you guys ready? members of the WWE Universe in attendance. They are all here because of matches like this one. The champ planning to show his dominance in this division with an emphatic win tonight. Expectations have to be high for the champion in this one. Yeah, even when your title isn't on the line, everyone still expects to see you competing at a championship level. Well, here's hoping they can deliver just that for this crowd. And here we have a man who clearly had his eyes set on ascending to the next level. He ain't gonna win a title tonight, but if he plays his cards right, this challenger could find his future looking a lot brighter. All he has to do is convert on that opportunity. Of course, that's much easier said than done. Uh oh. And he's able to counter. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Big forearm. He's been placed in the corner now. Stretching out the knee. Oh. Ooh, followed up with an elbow. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And got away with that one. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. <laughs> Rolling into a monkey flip. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. <laughs> he's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe. Don't do it! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off! I think there's gonna be some second guessing. Soaring through the air and connects! Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Nice suplex. He's lost some of his win now. Reigns down an elbow retaliation. Uh-oh. The arms are hooked. Tiger suplex. Oh, the back of the neck. Boom! The demons are being summoned. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Oh! 
He's... Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Nicely done. Plenty left to go in this one. Uh-oh. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Sweet rolling Zavat kick. Shoulders down. This could be it. Gets the shoulder up. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. Climbing up top. He's... From the top, diving headbutt. Rolling into a monkey flip. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. There's a roll through. Super kick to the face. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. You can see the anguish growing on his face. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Can you believe this? I love it. That's telling your opponent, you don't deserve to share this stage with me. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. He manages to escape it. Double chicken. Uh-oh. He's got him scouted. A stalemate of counters. for a high-risk move. Take off. All the way to the outside. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Setting him up. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. And now thrown back into the ring. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Going for the home run. There's the pile driver. Couldn't have done it better myself. Cover. Wow, just barely making it out. Somehow, some way, escapes defeat. Still alive. A new strategy is needed right about now. That couldn't end things. They are deep into this match, and you have to think that their stamina is running out. Yeah, at this point in the match, it starts to feel like you're fighting it. Sent hard to the outside. This superstar picking up speed. Oh, the outside. Wrecking ball. Drop kick. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. This match may be nearing its limit. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Three. Running Swanton finds the mark. And a bad exchange there for him. Could be signs of trouble for him here. And he tosses it back in now. With the counter. Spine buster. 
Oh, what are they going to do? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ow. No way. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Flying. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. That's a bad landing. An uh, arm bar. Just stretching out the arm. Flying Majorana. Beautiful. Dropped with a suplex. Dodged right on cue. Series of reversals. Big forearm. Uh-oh. He avoids the damage. Placing them into the corner. Wrist clutch applied, and this is just next level brutality. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Oh, uncorks an uppercut. Setting up again. Omega driver. Is this what he needs for the win? Just an incredible wherewithal to get the shoulder up. Yeah, you would think he'd be out of it after taking that maneuver. Listen, that should have ended things. And look at his face. At this point, you have to believe he's losing some faith in himself. The noise surging through this arena is ridiculous. It, look out! Cross body to the floor. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. This ends now. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. To the left side. Sent to the apron, hooked up. Oh man, right to the forearm, kicks, punches. Just punched him right in the mouth, relentless, right in the face. My God. Targeting the arm with a big stomp. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. I like this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, eat. Uh-oh. He's returning fire. Springboard off the top. Springboard cross buck. This is it. Wow, that was a hard-fought victory there, and uh, his opponent's pretty hurt, I think. He's certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come more on, what pain. does he get out of this? What's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac.
Get ready to raise some hell. One of the most exciting competitors to watch inside the ring. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 212 pounds. It's Pac! The workhorse of the NWO and D-Generation X, X-Pac is continually fueled by defiance. And he's here to kick tradition in the... Well, you know where. No, I don't, Byron. Why don't you tell me? Uh, 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 someone cut my mic. Say it, Byron. Things are about to get good. And his opponent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, Chris Eric O. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. at an underdog here in X-Pac, Corey. He may have been an underdog at one point, Cole, but X-Pac blazed the path for many superstars his size. He shows that a fast-paced, high-flying style can earn success. That has been true, Corey. I expect X-Pac will display that signature style here tonight. Yeah, but he's taking on a superstar with a mean streak a mile wide. I know, I wouldn't want to be in the ring with this guy. Right to the leg. He finds a counter for X-Pac. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Wait, 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 wait! He's able to kick out before two. And those kickouts are only gonna get harder. Tossed into the corner. Close line in the corner! The speed and quickness of X-Pac is something that allows him to take on any comers. Couple that with his never say the attitude, and X-Pac is quite the formidable opponent. While X-Pac relies heavily on his speed, we've seen him be outpowered. If this guy can wear X-Pac down with his strength, he could pull out a victory here. Oh, sit-out slam. This match grinded him down a little. He saw it coming. Spinning heel kick. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Right on the arm. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Five, six. The adrenaline Seven. is pumping, and the W. Oh God, that, that, that's a bad landing. My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. Neck breaker. And gets tossed back into the mat. Got their opponent up. Oh, driven down. Will this be enough? No, a kick out. 
I didn't think this match was close to over. Caught with the elbow. Avoiding contact. What a clothesline. He reverses it. Punch. And he sends him into the corner. He was waiting for him to make his move. Going up, uh-oh. Going down, punches and counters. Out. Series of clotheslines delivered by this competitor. Manages to duck out of the way, followed by a super kick. <laughs> Paying it right back with a reversal. Hold on a second, could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. And the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. And X-Pac moves. Saw it coming and slowed it down. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. Strenuous effort here. I think he's got it locked in good. I Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Oh, X-Pac got caught with a reversal. He's taking hold of X-Pac. Oh, driven face first. Hit that just as hard as his opponent does. Two count. That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here is your winner, Chris Eric. Ooh! X-Pac getting the L here in this one. This has to have given X-Pac some one, two, three kid era flashbacks or something. We are about to see something good. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from England, weighing in at 200 pounds, the Super Hybrid Champion, Gabriel Kidd. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. I hope this superstar is ready because tonight 
When he faces Rey Mysterio, he is battling the greatest Lucha competitor who has ever lived. The biggest little man in WWE marched right into the land of giants and proved that he belongs. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio! Yo, Byron, Ray Mysterio's already proven himself here in WWE. Oh, without a doubt. We've seen Ray Mysterio win the Royal Rumble, even won the WWE Championship on the grandest stage of them all at WrestleMania. Lucha Libre legend Rey Mysterio in action tonight, and this crowd is feeling it with unparalleled speed and skill. To this day, Rey really is living proof that size doesn't matter once that bell rings. Rey has wowed generation after generation of audiences all over the world, and he shows no signs of stopping anytime soon, especially not tonight. And we've got a champion waiting for them across the ring. The WWE Universe always loves a fighting champion. Yeah, but I don't know if this match counts, Saxton. The title isn't on the line, so it's more champion fighting than it is fighting champion. Getting him into the corner. From the middle rope, breathtaking Hurricane Rana. Fails to connect on the springboard. Oh, that's just insulting. I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. Rey Mysterio is so difficult to plan for because he can adapt to so many situations. That brings up the question, is there something an opponent can detect during the match to get the upper hand? But ever since his return, we've seen opponents employ strange new strategies to get at Mysterio. Targeting his eye, threatening his family. You have to think of new tricks to get one over on a savvy veteran like Rey. But when you find a weakness, you have to attack it with, this could be it, cover! Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Targeted stomp to the arm. <laughs> Reversal, what a counter. Vulnerable situation for him. Oh, rough landing off the suplex. He's heading up top. Thinking, lift off. Ah, oh, straight to the floor. Good God, just a disgusting thud hurt here at ringside. Precise drop kick to the base of the skull. Two. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Looking to take flight here. Here we go. Boom. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Uh-oh. He switches it back around. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Ray had that well scouted. Mysterio, uh-oh. Get ready to dial it up. 
instead whip back down to the mat. Quick thinking counter into a takedown. Bulldog brings them down. Amazing grace from Rey Mysterio. Mysterio seizing every opportunity. Picture perfect drop kick. Familiar territory for Mysterio. Up high. Frog splash from Rey Mysterio. Rey got it. Rey got it. Rey Mysterio gets the win. Here is your winner, Rey Mysterio. What a win here for Rey Mysterio. Say what you will about his parenting, but Mysterio's still got it in the ring. Oh, come on, Corey. Just stop already. Make way for the anvil. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Hart Foundation from Reno, Nevada. Weighing in at 281 pounds, Jim the Anvil Neidhart. A multiple time tag team champion, WWE Hall of Famer, and the father of the one and only Natalia. One of the toughest men to ever grace the squared circle. They call him Anvil for a reason. A true powerhouse of the game. Here comes the hitman. Oh, yeah, the excellence of execution. And his partner, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. Despite his innovative streak, the hitman is as old school as it gets. The excellence of execution. Representing the Hart family proudly. Yeah, now we're talking.
A class is in session. A man who has held countless championships in his career. A truly all-time great of the grappling game. And from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 240 pounds, William Regal! Going nowhere! I'll tell you, the entire career of William Regal has been predicated on commanding respect, whether it's in the ring as a competitor, or whether serving as general manager for Monday Night Raw or NXT. And you're right, Byron, that William Regal forces his opponents to show him the respect that he believes he deserves. The Hart Foundation, widely considered to be one of the greatest groups ever, despite the different in-ring styles of these men, they function so well together. Well, there's no question, the Hart Foundation has been trained to perfection. These superstars are in prime condition, incredibly well-rounded, and know how to attack as a unit. It's that in-ring chemistry that has made them so successful. And guys, if you want to know the strength of WWE here in Japan, just listen to this Tokyo crowd. Into the corner now. Oh, he knew what was coming. Uh-oh. Harlem sidekick. Tagged in. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Solely focused on in a corner. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face to cross the top rope. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Close line to the back of the neck. Got the tag. Got the tag. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Watch the quickness on this. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Great counter. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Vicious knee drop. This could be it. Cover. Almost two and a half. Not yet. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. He made it. Tag made. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. to heart there. Retaliation from the hitman. There he goes, right into the corner. Gotta hurt. And the ring general Hart perhaps getting a little outmatched and outsmarted there. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. Man, what a palm strike. He could do it here. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? He's far from finished. Held in a perilous position. Dropped right on their face. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Into a powerbomb. No only kick out. Gonna take a lot more than that to keep this man down.
Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. The cover. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I think this match still has a ways to go. Here he comes off the tag. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. Elbow drop. The piercing. He's looking a little off balance. Some old school punishment from the Hart Foundation. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, he retaliates. Boom! <laughs> this their opponent's oh, legs. Oh. And that's a free fall. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Just cranking the head. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Not hard. Over clutch. The official asking him, is he going to tap? And you know, Jim rolled out of it. Great escape. Great counter. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Face full of turnbuckle. He may be in a bad way here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and that should do it right there. Guys, he put him away. That's a pretty big win. Here are your winners. Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart, the Hart Foundation. And a big time victory for this tag team here tonight. The Hart Foundation representing as they always do. We just witnessed tag team excellence at work, guys. Sports entertainment royalty has arrived. Hail to the king, baby. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Jerry the King Lawler. <laughs> the man I beat at WrestleMania. 
Well, on a more positive note, uh, you got to respect the king. Still competing and calling matches in his 70s. Uh, still at losing. <laughs> Why don't you give it a shot, Saxton? Well, maybe I will one day. You only got about 10 years left. Uh, is it just me, or is anyone else expecting him to be completely pulverized by Andre the Giant? I agree with you, Saxon. There's no way to truly prepare for Andre. Here comes the eighth wonder of the world. And his opponent, accompanied by Bobby Heenan from Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Seven feet, four inches, 500 plus pounds, more than just tipping the scales. Yeah, towering and dominating the competition with impressive ease. Well, there is a massive obstacle in the way of anyone who stands across the ring from Andre the Giant. Truly a force to be in awe of and reckoned with. And that size and that skill make him an even more dangerous force in the world. And the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler, starting things off tonight with a timeless, old-school style that hits as hard as you can imagine. Lawler is so crafty, and he has absolutely no shame to win at any cost. Unless he's wrestling you, Michael. It's true. His only documented weakness is, well, it's me at WrestleMania. And to say he's got quite the challenge in front of him is probably the understatement of the century, as he's facing the intimidating Andre the Giant. Definitely not someone you want to draw the ire of. Even if he likes you, Andre is a tough opponent. So I don't want to imagine what Andre would do if you got on his bad side. Body slam. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. But this could also light a fire on you. Make you fight even harder. Fought up an elbow. Oh! And oh man, Andre has been busted open. Hits him with the counter. Cover, cover. Powers through after two. That was a long two count there. Ah, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Targeting the arm now. Insulting. Well, I don't think there was anything necessary about that. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. If you're Jerry Lawler here, what do you need to do to come away with the win? Rinse and repeat from the... Oh, hold up out of nowhere! Early kick out, referee right on top of the action. Still a ways to go in this match based on that. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Stunning this play of power! Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. He knows how to avoid contact. Uh, 
Oh, had that well scouted. Now he's looking for some momentum. King hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. He is delivering elbow after elbow. The Giant is...
sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, Jerry the King Lawler. And the victor, Jerry Lawler. The King's reign rolls on. One thing about Jerry Lawler, the King knows how to win. And here he comes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from North Carolina. Weighing in at 218 pounds. Kenny Omega. It's all about showing off for this superstar. They are fearless and want everyone to know. <laughs> you say fearless, I say insane. Let's just call the whole thing off. This man may consider himself a star, but Cody intends on leaving him in the dust. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. 
While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. Some have called this superstar a bit too intense, and as we can already see from the look in his eyes, there's a reason why. In this business, intensity often breeds success, and he is well aware of that. He's hoping that focus and drive really propel him to success. Taking on Cody Rhodes, about as clever as they come in the squared circle, which is part of what makes him so dangerous. You don't get a nickname like the American Nightmare for no good reason, Saxton. Cody lives up to it, and then some, both when it comes to the physical and cerebral fight. He moved, but can he capitalize? Ow, brain buster! Compressing the neck with that kind of force can't feel good. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Bam! Springboard roundhouse, good night! Suplex. Cody Rhodes, of course, has only improved his in-ring style over the years. Added much more devastating maneuvers to his arsenal. How do you prepare for someone like that, Corey? Someone who has evolved so much since his original days in WWE. You gotta work smart while Cody works hard. It's as simple as that. to the back. Can he score the pin? A kick out to stay alive. Somehow, some way. Oh, watch this power. Way up and down hard. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. How humiliating. Just kicks to the face. Cody is losing command in this one. And he's clearly playing it smarter than Cody right now. Right to the spine. Well scattered reversal there. Cody Rhodes finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Cody isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. That could be it. Oh, he kicked out. He really thought that was it. He's one step ahead there. These two having an answer for everything. Taking off from the ropes. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Suplex! He finds a counter for Rhodes. Tying up their opponent. Patella Brain Buster. Such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, Kenny Omega. There was no road to victory for Cody here tonight. In the end, Rhodes had nowhere to go. Well, we can't imagine what Cody's feeling, but we know this is not how he wanted to go out.
Here comes the bad guy. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 287 pounds. The bad guy, Razor Ramon. Let me just tell you this. If the bad guy is coming your way, you made a wrong turn. Yeah, I just think of what a guy like Razor Ramon can do to an opponent. One of the best brawlers in WWE history. This is going to be a fight. Something happens to his gold, something's gonna happen to you. So watch it, Saxton. Hey, no problem to worry about here, but you on the other hand, Corey? Here comes the double champion. And his opponent from Australia, weighing in at 230 pounds. One half of the International Wrestling Grand Prix Tag Team Champions and one half of the Tag Team Champions, Mike E. Nichols. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. We have never seen a landscape this competitive, and yet he stands before us holding multiple championships. No one's in his league, and he's got the hardware to prove it. Two championships. You better believe all eyes are on him. And this match has certainly been on his mind all day long. While his title's not up for grabs here, you have to imagine he'll be keeping his head on a swivel so he can protect his title in a future defense. When you're on top like he is, Cole, everyone wants a piece. He's definitely got a lot on his plate going into this. And he'll be dealing with a smooth-talking, machismo-oozing street fighter from Miami in Razor Ramon. Say hello to the bad guy. You want to talk about a man who knows how to carve you up and get the job done? Look no further. Survey says it's going to be one more for the bad guy. Oof. Oh! Got it scouted. And he saw that coming from Ramon. Up and spine buster! Oh, forearm snap. He's got him down. Is this it? Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And that might slow down Ramon for the moment. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. That time. The pick drop. And full control here. Face first. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Just like that, the bad guy counters. 
drag. Simple yet effective way to get out of a predicament. He turns it around. Boom. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Whip back into the ring. Ramon letting the crowd know who's in charge. Chico. Look over the front waistline. Counted into a nice arm drag. Big boy. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. Delivering nasty stops. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. That is attacking with malicious intent. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Big back body drop. What elevation. Agonizing. And Razor's leaving no breathing room here. Just unrelenting attacks from the bad guy. His match is, of course, just another entry into what has developed into a feud of historic proportions. Few superstars have ever loathed each other like these competitors do. And this has got to be it! Kicks out. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Razor gets countered. And he puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. They're lining up their opponent. What do they have in mind? Oh, knee drop. Woo. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Oh, knee drop. Uh-oh. Good timing with that reversal. He must have seen that coming. Uh-oh, we know what's next. Nice sit-out powerbomb. Ramon looks out of it. What a kick out. I don't believe it. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. But he coming. And coming down with incredible force. Razor failing to offer any resistance here. Ramon has to pull a trick from his sleeve. Not sure how much more Ramon can take. And the bad guy's in bad shape. This is a very dangerous situation now. Ramon is teetering on a Razor's edge right here. I see what you did there. He's pushing back now. Yeah, Ramon getting some newly determined focus. Lifts him up, a spine buster. Just a deadlift, deadlift back suplex. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh my God! Davi Musa, is it enough? The cover. Guys, what a massive upset! One of the biggest we've ever seen. I am shocked that he was able to earn a. Oh my Whoa. God! Dude. Frustration has boiled over. 